Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. In this video we are going to be taking a look at a new flight sim gear by Thrustmaster. If you are just beginning with flight simulation this might be the flight sim gear for you. The T-Flight HOTUS 1 by Thrustmaster is an entry-level flight sim gear that is priced at $99.99. It's quite a bargain for somebody just starting with flight sim, as flight sim gear can be very expensive. But if you're just trying things out and you really don't want to break the budget, then stick around because this is quite interesting. Let's take a look. Let us begin by unpacking the unit. As it is always the case with Thrustmaster products, they are very well protected to ensure they arrive to your doorstep undamaged. This case was not an exception. I was immediately struck by how light this unit is. The quality of the plastic is not the highest quality you expect from Thrustmaster, but considering the price point of $99.99, I believe that the quality is sufficient. The two units attach uh, to each other and are connected via a wire, and once you attach the units, the assembly is pretty much complete and all you need to do is connect the USB cable to your PC. I have found the throttle to be quite nice in terms of the feel. It's got rudder control on the front, a few buttons on the right side, a few more buttons there on the uh, unit on the flight stick. The travel and tension of the flight stick is quite nice. Uh, again, considering the price point of this, uh, of this throttle and a flight stick, I think it is quite reasonable in terms of its quality. Now that we have unpacked the unit, let's take a closer look at the operation. Now, the T-Flight HOTUS 1 is a plug-and-play device. And all you need to do is really connect one USB cable to your PC and you're good to go. The unit is automatically calibrated and all the controls are automatically mapped. So you don't really need to you know, do anything other than just connect the USB cable. Let's take a look at the flight stick and the throttle quadrant. Now, the one thing that I kind of do not like is, is the fact that the flight stick is on the right and the throttle is on the left. It's not a big deal, but normally and ideally, you'd use the flight stick more than you use the throttle. And so I would have liked uh, the flight stick to be closer uh, to me than, than the throttle. But not a big deal, but it's just, I feel that it's a bit counterintuitive. Uh, the throttle has a really nice detent to it. So when you move the throttle here, it stops at about the midpoint, which is a good reference point that you're at 50% throttle. And just applying a little more pressure than takes the throttle uh, at full, full forward. You'll notice there are buttons here, and those can control your landing gear and flap, uh, uh, flap lever and the sim. You've got your camera control here, and you also have a hat switch on the flight stick. Overall, I do like the feel of the throttle. Um, considering the price point of this unit, this is actually very good, I have to say. Moving on to the three buttons here, which control your camera system in the sim. We have a couple more buttons here and the Xbox button here if you're using this for Xbox. And by the way, you can switch between the um, Xbox One and PC by a switch that is located at the front of the unit. We're gonna take a look at that uh, in just a minute. I'll flip the unit so you can see the rudder as well. Now, the nice thing about the flight stick, other than the fact that it's got really nice feel to it when it comes to the pressure and the travel distance, it actually has rudder control as well. So by twisting the flight stick, you get uh, rudder control as well. You've got your hat switch here, lots of buttons here to program to your liking. There is definitely one at the back. You can use this to fire missiles or contact ATC, whatever you prefer. But it's really got, you know, everything that you need. The unit in itself has everything that a beginner flight simmer needs to depart from the keyboard. The keyboard is, is a mess. 
and it's an immersion killer. Uh, so in order for a beginner to really experience flight simulation um, and really decide if this is something he wants to do or not, or to satisfy curiosity, you need to have some sort of flight sim gear. Uh, the keyboard is definitely not something that I recommend. It's not practical, and it really takes away from the overall experience. This is something that is a notch up from using a keyboard, but it's you know it doesn't break the budget in my view. Um, again, the flight stick, I really like the feel to it. I like the fact that you've got the rudder control both on the flight stick and the throttle. If I am to look at the price versus the features that this T-Flight HOTUS 1 offers, I would label this as an entry-level flight sim gear for beginners. That's exactly how I would, um, you know, label this unit. And if you ask me, Q8, is this value for money? Absolutely. Uh, for, you know, less than $100, you get everything. You get the flight stick, you get the throttle quadrant, and you get the rudder control. Let's take a very brief look at the front of the unit. This is something that you will not see, uh, obviously, when you're using the unit, but I thought it's important to show you what it looks like. Now, on the throttle, here are some buttons here, and this is the rudder control. Um, it actually is pretty smart how they've done this. The, the thought of it, um, no, it's not something that I prefer using, but I think for a beginner, this is very, very cool. It's a very cool idea. I still prefer the uh, rudder control uh, by twisting the flight stick. I think it's more, um, it gives you finer control because you can control how much rudder. So, you, you know, you can add just a little bit of a twist there for those you know, small turns, and you can, you know, with this one here, controlling the press uh, is is not always very easy. You can get better feel when you're twisting the uh, the joystick here. Uh, you can see again the button here and the, the buttons here as well on the top of the flight stick. Some more buttons here as well and the buttons on the side. Yeah, overall, I think uh, this is a, a very nice unit, and let's let's take a look at the uh, operation of it in the in the sim. We are now in the COWS DA42, and we're going to take a, a quick look at the operation in the sim. Moving the throttle, as you can see here, moves the throttle in the sim, and you can notice that with the detent of the throttle, we're at exactly the 50% uh, throttle point in the sim as well. So everything's very well calibrated and works exactly as it should. Looking at the flight stick here, uh, again, the movement is uh, resp very responsive. There is a little bit of a delay uh, in the movement versus what I see in the sim. It's very slight, very subtle. But here, if we twist the flight stick, we have the rudder control, as you can see here, and the rudder control on the throttle quadrant as well as I press these buttons. That's very, very cool, I have to say. Um, it's very well thought of. It's, uh, it's the first time actually I see a, a throttle uh, that has rudder control on it. So I think this is, this is quite nice. Uh, again, I think somebody who's just starting with flight sim will really enjoy this. Um, it makes things a lot easier. Of course, I'd rather use rudder control with my feet and legs, um, but this offers a really smart alternative for somebody who cannot afford uh, you know, expensive uh, rudder pedals. So we are going to go ahead and take off um, and we're going to let me release the parking brake, which, by the way, is also controlled via uh, the buttons here. You can see this is the gear and this is the parking brake. And then you've got your flaps as well. So let's go ahead and release the parking brake now. Um, there we go. Parking brake is released and we're just going to give throttle. I'm going to keep the view this way so you guys can see what we're doing. And here I'm using the rudder pedal uh, again of the, uh, of the throttle. We can alternatively use the rudder pedals here from the fly stick, which is probably more um, stable. The ones on the throttle are a bit uh, too sensitive. All right, we're good to go. Full throttle. And let's go. 
Again, notice how I can control the, the rudder uh, on the ground here. Works really, really well. Right, and rotate. Very nice feel to it. Not very touchy, uh, I have to say. So you do have to apply a little bit of uh, pressure to, to depart. And then we can press here for the landing gear. There we go. Landing gear is retracted. I really like the feel of the stick. Right, let's do a few maneuvers here. We're going to turn to the right. Hat switch works pretty well. And you can move it also within the uh, cycle through the available presets. You can also go to the different camera views here which is, uh, again, always a nice touch. Clicking on this button here switches the camera from the external to the internal, and then you can also cycle through the checklist by clicking here. Everything is automatically mapped, which is a plus. And here's a look at the external view with the flight stick movement. As you can see, very fluid. Here is again the rudder control uh, from the flight stick and the rudder control from the rudder, as you can see here. In my view, the T-Flight HOTUS-1 by Thrustmaster is an entry-level flight sim gear suited for beginners. It is priced at $99.99, .99, which I think is a fair ask for this unit. Um, considering what it does, it's really three in one, a flight stick, throttle quadrant, rudder control, and it works pretty well. Plug and play, very easy to set up, very, very well suited for beginners. If you're just starting with flight simulation and you're looking for something other than a keyboard, then this might just work very well for you. Well, folks, this brings us to the conclusion of this short review of the T-Flight HOTUS 1 by Thrustmaster. I hope that you have found it useful and insightful. If you have any questions, as usual, please do post them in the comment section below. Until next time, please take care of yourselves and each other, and I will see you all very soon. Thanks for watching, and bye-bye for now.